Hello everyone, you're welcome to Tips and Tricks with Pray. So today we'll be learning how to prepare your lace for sewing. For those of you that you want to make laces and but your lace is always moving left and right from your underlining. So today I'm going to teach you how to stabilize your lace before sewing. So I've already um, cut out my lace. This is a part of my body's block and I'm already cut out my lace and I've ironed my under my interfacing on my underlining. I, I use an hair stay here. So this is how you're going to do your lace first and this is my underlining. Then this is my lace by this side. So for this tutorial, I will be needing a white hemming gum or a black hemming gum. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a white one because it fits better with my lace. Then we need a scissors as well. So you just cut your hemming gum into tiny strips like this in this video. You don't need the full size of the hemming gum. Tiny strips just like you're seeing in this video, not this full size. Cut this like this one into two places. Then that's all you'll be needing for the underlining. Now we take just one piece which will serve as my main um, underlining for my lace. I'm just going to cut my strips and place it on the edges gradually like do it carefully so it doesn't run off i'll just place it on the edges like this basically on the sides not just in the middle on the sides and i can still go ahead and place some at the base of my fabric just to hold it at different points of the fabric now carefully pick up your lace and place it over your lining place it over your lining and make sure you tuck in every excess hemming gum that is flying out so that it wouldn't not gum to your iron so just place it like that now pick up your iron on a very moderate heat you know some laces are very delicate you don't want to burn your lace so now begin to iron moderately on your uh, lace if you're finding this video useful and you're yet to subscribe, please kindly subscribe, like and turn on your notification bell to be the first to get updates from this channel. So as you can see, it's well stabilized, it's not coming off again. Now take your scissors and trim out the excesses of the lace away from the underlining. This, this whole method helps you to have a neater finishing, a neater sewing. While you're sewing, you don't have to be trying to pin or trying to worry that your lace is going to come off. It just gives you a stability to your lace. I'm going to do that, repeat the same process on the other part of the lace. And that's it. So I hope this helps you. You're going to do this on other parts of your dress or your garment or the skirt or any other part you know you're going to be high on. So thank you.